With President Trump now just days away from his first rally since the coronavirus outbreak, a new warning this morning from Tulsa's health department director. Dr. Bruce Dart telling Tulsa World a large indoor rally with 19 to 20,000 people is a huge risk factor today in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Noting a significant increase in cases, Dr. Dart says he's concerned about our ability to protect anyone who attends, including our ability to ensure the president stays safe. Acknowledging the risk, the campaign is now requiring anyone who attends to sign a liability waiver, giving up their right to hold the campaign or venue responsible if they contract the virus. The president's top economic advisor was asked whether attendees should wear masks to the rally. People must observe the safety guidelines, okay? Must. Uh, the social distancing must be observed. Uh, face coverings in key places must be observed. I'm glad to see you uh, calling for people to wear masks, and I assume that that also means at the Absolutely. Trump rally in Tulsa, I mean, people should be wearing masks at the Trump rally in Tulsa this Saturday. Uh, well, okay, uh, 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 probably so. One Oklahoma senator says there's no reason to postpone. High risk folks need to continue to be able to step back uh, and everybody needs to be able to take responsibility for their own health. It follows the president participating in another large gathering, speaking at a socially distant commencement at West Point, delivering this defense of the country's institutions now under fire following George Floyd's death. What has historically made America unique is the durability of its institutions against the passions and prejudices of the, moment. the White House has yet to formally detail exactly what, if any, specific police reforms the president will support. As for his Oklahoma rally this Saturday, this morning, the Tulsa World's editorial board writes, this is the wrong time and Tulsa is the wrong place for the Trump rally. They say it's their health care system that will have to deal with whatever effects follow, and they insist their public health concern would apply whether it was Donald Trump, Joe Biden, or anyone else holding a massive indoor rally there.